Hello, everyone. All right. Hello, everyone. So how much of you, last time stuff do you guys remember? Roughly, how much do you still remember? I remember all of it. <laughs> you know what an allele is? Yeah. Yeah, like a thing you inherit from your parents. Yeah, roughly. Uh, codominance, you know what that is? Explain. When two things don't have, uh, when let's say one set of DNA doesn't have dominance over another one. Yep, that's right. Uh, what's it? Two. This is going to be on the Kahoot we're going to do later. Two. What's more likely? Two blue eyed parents having a brown eyed child or two brown eyed parents having a blue eyed child? Blue eyed child. Pardon? Uh, the, the second one, when two brown eyed uh, parents have a blue eyed child. That's a, that's a free question you got right there. So you guys understand this stuff perfectly, right? You can. Preston. I mean, Ethan, come on. I know you know everything. So why don't I move on to blood types since you also seemed like you knew quite a bit about that. I kind of don't really understand everything. Come on, that, that's, that's completely fine. I didn't know anything when I was your age either. So blood types, I'll spend the rest of the class teaching you guys that then. All right, so blood types. First of all, Charles, Ethan, I know you know. I know you know about it, so don't need to answer. What other than Charlie? Charlie, why do I keep getting you guys mixed up? What do you guys know so far about blood types? Anything at all? There's different types. There are different types. That's completely correct. Anything else? Their blood. Their blood. That's also a very correct. Anything a bit more complex than that? Some are more common than others? Uh, I don't cover that, but yeah, some blood types are way more common than others. Give, give, give me an example of a blood type. Come on. Give, give, I know you guys are smarter than that. O. O? What makes O special, do you know? Uh, it could go into both. No, Ethan. Pardon? What did you say, Lyndon? Uh, it could go into B and A for everyone. Is there only is there only B and A? Are there any ones other than A, B, and O? I actually don't really know. That's fine. You already know a lot. So I'll start then. So. Blood is now blood is codominant. So again, what does codominant mean? Not you, Ethan. What does codominant mean? Come on, guys, codominance. You guys got a lot of questions right that were, were about codominance. I guess most of them. Okay, that, that's fair because you weren't here for the first class. That's not your fault. Uh, C Camille, I remember you were very, you participated a lot in the discussions. Can you tell us what codominance is? Um, there's um, one of each. Like yeah, one of them. Yeah, let's say there's one of, let's say uh, there's an A and a B. What happens to these two? How, which one is expressed? A. Codominant, remember? Codominant. What does codominant mean? Just this word. Both of them? Exactly. They're both expressed, but do they mix? I think so. If they mix, it would be called incomplete dominance, right? Remember, red flower, white flower, pink flower. That's incomplete dominance. So, yeah, no. They codominance means a. Uh, let's say we have uh, one person 
with A blood, another person with B blood, their children would just have AB. You see how that means? You see, you see how that works? One parent, one parent, let's say this is the mom. The mom has A, the father has B, and the children have AB. That's basically what codominance in this case means. They're both expressed. So uh, the difference here works like this. So this is just, you know, the chart. And, and, and remember, guys, O is recessive. So, uh, so if your parents, so uh, let's say an O has children with an A. Oh, that's wrong. I have a question. Go on. So what happens if like A, B goes with B or A, A goes with B or something like that? Draw on the screen. You can annotate. There, It's right next to the... It should be somewhere on the bar. Am I allowed to be in this conversation now? Yes, you are, since I'm assuming you don't know everything about this. Okay. Then you best stop. <laughs> I can close my computer. Okay. So, L Lyndon, I'll... Give me a second. Uh, a, B, right? Let's just use A, B as an example, plus A. So you have A, B, one parent on this side and another parent has A. Why don't you draw that yourself as well? But it depends if they have A, A or A, O. That's true. It can be, it for the sake of this question, it doesn't really matter since Lyndon just wants to know what happens, right? Yeah. It can be AO or AA. It's up to you. AA, right? Now you just fill it out, right? What's here, what's here? Go Both go here, here, here. They both go here. And then... Right. I know I really I didn't really answer your question, Lyndon, but do you understand how this works? Wait, but what if you don't have like uh but what if you don't have four children? You don't have this isn't you don't necessarily have to have four children. This is just the possibilities. So if you have one child, you have a 50% chance of have giving them AA and a 50% chance of giving them A B. Do you see how that works? So that's basically what it is. And uh, just as a test, what do you think would happen if this parent over here was AO? What would, what would the, how would this be affected? I'll erase these squares for you. Well, you get AO and then BO. Come on, Ethan, not cool. But I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Let's yeah, see. don't be sorry for being too smart. I'm just joking with you. Wait, but did you say he could enter the conversation? Why are you helping him, Lyndon? I'm trying to help you, man. Come on, fill up. Try filling out the rest of these. Uh, wait, but isn't A O the same thing as A? Uh, again, it's if you have a. Uh, if you have this, you still have brown eyes, but this is still different from this. You see how that works? Because this affects what your the, the genes your children will have. You, do you understand? Yeah, but I have another question. So could, yeah. could O be in front of A or B? It doesn't matter how you write it. O is recessive. So you can write O in front of A, but it's still recessive.
So you guys have also heard of positive or negative, whatever, right? Negative blood. So it's, uh, it's all the words on here. It's basically an extra protein you have in your blood. So do, do you know, first of all, do you know what happens if something your body that isn't in your body gets into your body that your body doesn't recognize? Uh, its first reaction is to attack it. <laughs> exactly. That's right. So if you get a bacteria into your skin, you, the first, your body's first reaction, attack the bacteria. So this is what happens. Your body does the same thing if your blood doesn't have this protein, but you get blood from a person who has this protein. Because, because it's, what, it's what it says, right? If your blood doesn't have the protein, it views this protein as dangerous, and then it sends antibodies to attack it, and then you get very, very sick. You could die from this too. So then this is just a quick look at the compatibility, right? Now, can you guys, can you guys think why, why, do, why can't an A give blood to a B? Just A plus, why can't an A plus give blood to a B plus? Not plus, positive. Why can't an A positive give blood to a B positive? Not you, Ethan. Because they're not the same blood type. That's true. But why do you think because they're not the same blood type, they can't take the same blood? Be um, Were you about to say something, Camille? Uh, Lyndon, you, you can go. Is it because they're both co-dominant? Not precisely. Camille, what do you think? I just talked. Did you? Yeah. Uh, I don't think you unmuted your mic. Can you say it again, please? Is it because they're both codominant? Wait, you said that? Oh, okay. Uh, I thought that was Lyndon. Lyndon, what do you think then? I think because if it goes uh, with uh positive would it be double plus that's that's really not it ethan what, what do you think well basically you can't have um a positive blood kind of mixed with negative blood because if you don't have if you have positive blood and it mixes with negative blood they kind of just have an all-out war and that's not good for the body that's true, but I'm asking here, why can't you mix A positive with B positive? I mean, A and B are different blood types, and then if you have two positives, just it doesn't end well. Why precisely doesn't it end well? Right, yeah. I, I explained. Why you can't have, you can't be rhesus positive. You can't have positive and a negative, you can't, a positive person can't donate to a negative person. So why do you think that an A can't give to a B? Because they're different. <laughs> right? The body... So, so highlight what happens when an A gives blood to a B. Highlight what happens step by step. Well, I'm pretty sure this is what happened. First of all, the blood gets... However, the blood is transferred to the other body. Yeah. And then the, the blood... They notice that they're different. And then they send antibodies to or like white blood cells to attack the blood. Yeah, that's then, basically it. And then yeah. that, and then it's just war and then doesn't yeah. end well for the person. That's basically it. That really is basically it. Now, guess, why do you think that, oh, why did that happen? Uh, give me a second. So why do you think that A, B, that A and B can donate to AB? Because uh, AB has both. Literally, that's it. A, B has both. So then it recognizes both A and B, even if they're independent from each other. So wh why don't you, wh what about A, B negative then? Why can they only receive from negatives? Because of problems can only receive from positives and like something goes wrong. Exactly. They don't have the protein, so they don't recognize the protein. Now, O is a weird one because it can... you. O can give to, remember, O can give to everyone. O negative can give to everyone. O positive can give to any anyone positive with the protein as well. 
I'm actually not sure how this works. Maybe it has something to do with the fact that O is recessive. I'm actually not sure. Wait, but why do uh like negative uh only O negative could give to everybody? Why not O uh O positive? No, Ethan. I know you know the answer. So what do you again what does the positive mean? Uh positive. I don't know. Are they have different proteins? Pardon? What did Camille say? They have different proteins? Not they have different proteins. They either have or don't have a, a certain protein. Wait, so does that mean negative doesn't have it and then positive has it? Exactly. So then just from knowing that, why do you think that O positive can't give to everyone, but O negative can because O negative doesn't have it. Right? O negative doesn't have it. So then if it gives it to anyone, they won't they won't have a problem, right? If O if O negative gives if O negative gives to a person with positive for the rhesus, it won't attack the blood because there's no protein. It doesn't care. And right? That's basically how it works. Oh. Do you have any other questions? Uh, yeah. Yeah. What is it? So there's the blood type AB plus and gives yep. to AB plus, but why does it receive everybody? Does isn't it supposed to receive like AB or B or A or something like that? That's the thing, right? O can donate to everybody. It doesn't matter if you're A, B, if you're positive or negative. If you're O negative, you can give to anyone. I don't know how that works either. I'll have to be honest. Oh. Anything else? No thing. Okay. So again, that's basically everything I said here. So uh, I'll give you guys a few questions before class ends. Now these tend to be fun because you're basically you're literally just determining if the child is a person's. So we have here. Let's say it's, God, give me a second, please. Let's say it's 1968, okay? There's very little, there's no fingerprinting technology. All of the medical stuff like DNA testing, it's all very new. And most hospitals don't have it yet. So Mr. So Miss, Mr. A, he has a blood type of O. This is one parent's. This is the father's blood type. And now there is, and now his wife's blood type is A. This is the mother's blood type. So they have three children, right? They have three children named Gregor. Rosalind and Charles. Gregor is also blood type O. Rosalind is A and Charles is AB. So based on this information, what do you think the father's, what do you think the father's genotype is? Feel free to draw it on the screen. Then I'm drawing. I think it's too small. Oh, is it positive or negative? Oh, well, for the sake of these, it doesn't. We, we're not going to care. They're, they're, we're not going to. That's not a factor. Okay. Because the thing is, if you have. Wait, I have a question. Yeah? So how do you draw O with A? Because it's only one letter. Is it? Are you right, A O? It's their final. Remember, A A and O is their final blood type. It's not their genotype. Oh, okay. So this thing will be A O. 
is things a a and this thing will be wait but you can't get a b are you sure that are you sure that this is correct what's the father's know. genotype what's o it's o right and if you put o with a what do you get you get ao i think ao yeah so what's the final blood type if you have ao uh, i don't really know remember is o which one is dominant uh o i think are you sure a i think yeah a is remember a is dominant so if a is dominant what happens to o it doesn't show exactly it doesn't show so then if you have a and o what's your blood type a i'm done right your blood type is just a if you're if you have a o so again what's the father's blood type oh actually i don't know remember in order for the father to have o double o right it has to be in order for the father to have double o it has to be it has to be o o okay right it has to be o o because if you have any other letter in there it just becomes the other letter now e ethan i told the father is o the mother is a where did the b come from where did the b come from I don't know. Where do you think the B? Okay. Did it come from Charles? Charles is their son. Yeah, but Remember. how did they get there? Are you sure Charles is their son? That's the question, right? Wait, but is it what I'm saying? The only possible way for Charles to be their son is if. But Charles, but are you sure Charles is their son? Charles can be on top of it. Charles exactly. can be there. Exactly. That's the point of that. That was the point of the question. Charles, Charles is not, adopted. Charles is not their son. What? <laughs> it's, not, it's not their biological son. You can't say it's not, not their, their son. biological son if you want to keep it PG. Okay. Wait, so but it looks like we're out of time. I'll cover the blood types thing again next time. All right. Okay. Charles's life is sad. <laughs> all right, then. That's the end of class. Okay. He's homeless before? Bye. 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 It's an orphanage.